Alright, well, the Young Turks special election day coverage, regular show dropping! And one in so you even have Wisconsin and Minnesota, which is, come on. It just means that we can take them off a more fun part of the board. <laughs> also, and, look, and Trump. give them to Hillary Clinton. But yeah, I got you. We could obviously move those over to Hillary Clinton right now if you want. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> look, this election's over, okay? Mm -hmm. Trump cannot win. He can't win for a number of reasons. I mean, putting aside his uh, xenophobia, racism, sexism, and all that, that, you know, gets uh, Latinos and other groups to vote in large numbers. He's incompetent. He's just flat out incompetent. So I always thought this election was over a long time ago uh, because you don't, you don't just make up that ground game in an instant. That takes months and months of preparation, which he never did. Well, I think Hillary will have 320 electoral votes when it's all said and done, plus or minus five. Um, so I never bought into your fear mongering. <laughs> I think that most of us at this point are actually doing really well with predictions, uh, despite our primary, the, the, during the primaries, um, being so far off. I think one thing is that, uh, for, for the most part, general elections, there's some really great data, uh, give or take a couple states where polling isn't great. Uh, but for the most part, I mean, listen, yes, there's going to be the secret Trump voter. There's also going to be the secret Hillary voter. And every qualified pollster I've spoken to uh, realizes that those numbers pretty much ca cancel each other out. So I think it's going to be a big win for Hillary. And those uh, last minute polls that had, had swung in Hillary Clinton's direction gave us a, I, I don't know about you guys, it gave me a little bit of relief, right? Because I was worried that it was tightening over the weekend. And then the surge did not come for Trump, according to the polling. It came for Hillary Clinton. Now, right now, there isn't anything too much to be worried about. I, she could lose Florida, by the way, and Ohio, and North Carolina, and still win. Uh, Virginia, uh, at 10% uh, reporting. Uh-oh, okay, hold on, buckle up. 54-41. Uh, uh, Trump. Yeah, just put me in. No, no, no. 161,123,000. No, no, I'm now actually worried. I'm not kidding. I'll tell you, look, it got quiet in here the minute we started reporting these real results. Yep. And uh, and if that continues, there is going to be a call in here. Uh, so we're about halfway done with counting in Florida, getting close to halfway done, and Trump with a 100,000 vote lead. That's a lot of early votes. Break that has already changed. So, Ben, what's the latest in Florida? What is the percentage? What is the percentage? 49.8, two, two and a half points, 2.4 point yeah. lead for Hillary. She has a 2.4 point lead, everybody. Everybody, yes. don't don't panic. She's, she's here comes Hillary! And, okay, so if you are uh, on uh, Trump team, uh, right now you're panicking. Right. You had the same moment we had about 20 minutes ago where you're like, wait a minute, she's not only up in uh, Florida, but she's up in New Hampshire North and Carolina. Ohio and North Carolina. We Uh, electoral like, college right now, 60 to 44. Donald Trump has retaken the lead from Hillary Clinton. Also, that part is totally so irrelevant. She got a he got a nine stater. Who did they uh, who did they call? Alabama. Trump's oh, like, following oh we didn't we didn't I declare can't. we didn't declare Tennessee, but now Alabama has gone. Tennessee and Alabama have gone to Donald Trump. This is devastating news slash irrelevant. Back on the Young Turks election coverage, I have two things to report. One, it's panic time. Two, I'm on my third cup of coffee. Now shit gets real. Wow, it just dropped five percent. So okay, the calculation. By the way, hold on, yeah, this is sure. serious. So the calculation that the New York Times has had as a running prediction of winning the presidency. Last time I glanced at it, John, I don't know if you've been looking at that win presidency meter mm -hmm. below the states, no, below no, the no. map. Well, it was oh, at eight, yes. it was at eighty percent an hour ago for Clinton. What is it now? Sixty-eight percent. Okay, uh, God damn it, I'm nervous. It is fucking panic time. New Hampshire has flipped. He's now leading 48-47. Uh, so he's leading in Florida, Virginia, New Hampshire, North Carolina, and Ohio is now an eight-point lead yeah, for Trump. Gonna... Here's what just happened. And I, this thing was at 80% two hours ago when we were talking the upshot in the New York Times forecast of who's likely to win. Uh, Donald Trump, now the favorite to win the presidency, 51%. Oh! Uh, Jesus. Uh, some guys are Trump now at 53% forecast to be the president of the United States. It increases literally with every moment that a state like Virginia gets closer to being called for Trump. This is the most haunting thing I have ever had, uh, we've ever had uh, on the Young Turks. 
14 years we, uh, we've been on the air. Nobody else has called it yet, I'm calling it. It's a 10 point lead with 51% reporting, 53-43 for Trump. Trump's gonna win Ohio. So Ohio is now gone, guy. Okay, now uh, I've got my New York Times um, uh, likelihood of winning updating because I had to switch out and refresh on my iPad here. Trump, it, and it goes, brrr, and it kept going. It's like 50, 51, 52, 50. 61% chance of winning this for Donald Trump. This is insane. Oh, wow. For the Trump presidency, uh, brace for impact. New York Times now saying the chance of a Trump presidency is 92%. Brace for impact. The terror, the terror. Um, well, you know, we call this place Rebel Headquarters, and we were rebelling against the establishment. Um, and uh, and now uh, this will be true Rebel Headquarters as Trump and his cronies begin their march against our freedoms. Talk about how historically pathetic the Democratic Party is. The, the um, Democratic Party is gone. Before the election, we talked about, oh, there might be a Republican civil war. I didn't talk about it, but the press, the rest of the press couldn't stop talking about, it. oh, what will the Republicans do, right? No, no, no. The question is, what are the Repo Democrat? What's the Democratic Party going to do to rise from the ashes? Because they are in ashes. And I'll tell you this right now: we are in total fucking war. Okay. I'm not talking about the Republican Party. Yeah, sure, I, I'm happy to be at war with them. I'm happy to be at war with Trump, and it looks like I'm gonna be for four years. But I'm at war with the Democratic Party. This corporatist, weak, spineless, pathetic party. So the De DNC, you think we're coming for you? You're goddamn right we're coming for you. We're gonna pulverize the DNC. We're gonna rip it to shreds so that none of those idiot loser corporatists could ever screw up an election like this again. New York Times now has it at? 95% chance that Donald Trump is going to be president. North Carolina has been called, it is, goes to Donald Trump. Uh, and Wisconsin and Michigan still leaning red. Brought to you by the fucking morons at the Democratic Party.